Hello everyone and welcome to Prismic Chronicles. This month, like any other month, we are going to show you all the new releases that we've done in Prismic, mainly focusing this month on the API migration and the page builder. But before that, we I also wanted to take the time to discuss a bit the progress that we've made in AI. As you know, uh, we've integrated a few uh, AI-enabled features in Prismic, like prompt to slice or iterate on slice, that allow you to generate content uh, to create the first page, but also some productivity tools like the smart copy-paste feature that allow you to transform a Notion document to a, 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 Prismic, a Prismic page. We are questioning how to go further. That's the status today in Prismic. And we are uh, trying to understand a bit, um, thanks to you and uh, through different discussion, like what is the state of AI adoption in the marketing teams? We've discussed for with some of you, most of you actually already started to enable themselves thanks to ChatGPT or Surfer AI or Jasper. And we are now questioning the importance and the relevance to actually integrate those tools in the workflow and in the tool to make you even more productive. And so that's why we want to do this bit a bit to discuss like uh, what are the opportunities that we see, what that we see, what are the future uh, improvements that we are going to pass to the tool and a bit our point of view and where do we stand uh, on that front. We are now trying to get a, get a sense of how can we solve another big problem where we think AI is relevant and that we heard from most of you is that how do you create content that is on brand uh, at the era of uh, generated, uh, generated uh, content typically. And so um, for that, we looked around uh, in, the, in the industry and we started to basically uh, discuss with uh, actors like Jasper that are actually positioning themselves uh, very much on that specific item. And we are trying to assess and to leverage the opportunity to combine uh, our offer and our um, value proposition, the two, uh, the two of us, to come up with a, with a joint offer. On that front, uh, it's very simple. Prismic has helped you and still helps you to basically create new pages that are on brand thanks to uh, slices and your uh, own design system that you've embedded in Prismic. The thing that Jasper brings is another thing. It's about providing documentation about your tone of voice, pro former uh, marketing collaterals, and basically allow you to create new content that is uh, in line with the tone of voice and the previous content that you've been creating. And so what we've been working in the past uh, months or so is to get closer to them to build this integration that uh, I'm going to show you now. To illustrate that point, I'm going to take the use case of TED that is uh, willing to create a new page for a new conference called TEDx in Paris. And so what we've built uh, on top of uh, what we showed you on the prompt to slice introduction is a new way now to create those slides with Jasper. So Jasper is a tool where the marketing team will introduce like uh, input some marketing collaterals or some documentation on the brand so that we ensure that it's, uh, the tone of voice is being kept. And so here, when I'm typing introduce the new TEDx Paris Conf, it's not only going to choose the best slice, so here the feature banner, for uh, to introduce that conf, but also fetch that um, mar those marketing collaterals in, in Jasper and generate the content that will be brand safe um, for that specific uh, banner. And so here, like I selected that banner, uh, the best variation of them, I can select it and start creating a page. And so again, it fetched the documentation and so it did more than creating a non-brand component in a, in a sense like just styled as TED, but also it now sounds like, uh, like TED. And so I can create now a second um, a second slice uh, that has to show the previous video of the last year. Again, it's going to fetch um, and contact Jasper to be able to look at all the collateral that we've uploaded, look at the list of the video that were created last year, uh, and then start and then create content and create the slice with the previous video generated. And so this is basically what we are trying to do now and experimenting uh, on with AI. It's actually going further than, um, than just generating content for you. It's about also generating content that is brand safe, um, thanks to Jasper. Um, thinking and positioning ourselves about like thinking how we can generate content to actually drive more value for your business, more performance for your business, like we did and we discussed with Surfer. And so if you want to see more and join us, uh, see more about this, like join us at the next meetup where we'll discuss how uh, some agencies are actually integrating AI in their process to 
um, improve their productivity and the one of their customers. So I'm going now to leave the floor to Guy and Alena that will present to you uh, all the improvements that we've passed to the migration API and the page builder. Hey everyone, uh, it's Guy here from the page builder team. I uh, just want to give you a quick update for this month's Prisma Chronicles on what we've been working on and what you can expect in the new page builder. So as we've been talking about for the last couple of months, we've been working hard on the new media library. So at the moment, uh, we're rolling out the first of the new features, which is the new search. And I just want to demo uh, that for you today, some of the tweaks that we've made there as well to optimize the experience. So if you have the new feature, if you have the new page builder enabled, um, you will start to see this feature. So basically, uh, if I go in and I want to replace an image, and so you can see here, I'm working on this like what's new page with lots of cool features um, that I'm talking about on a marketing site. If I want to replace an image and say I want to add something about the page builder, it's a product I'm working on. Um, I have such a page builder. See here all the highlights of all the images um, related to the page builder. Again, it's prioritizing everything based on the file name. So that's the thing that we prioritize and boost um, to the top. And then maybe later on, I'll see some of these ones here and I'll see it's found page builder in the alt text um, and same for this one here. So yeah, it's working pretty well. We're pretty happy. And again, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback um, and hearing how you are finding the new search. And the second feature I wanted to show everyone today is the revision history. Uh, so basically you'll see here under, under the name of the document, there's a little icon here called view history. If I click on that, it will take me to uh, the old revision history, exactly the same as we have in the legacy editor. And I can see here, I've got all the old versions of the page. So I can click on one of these old versions, click on the restore button. And voila, it's now restored the version of that page as a draft in the new page builder. So yeah, simple as that. Um, we've got some cool stuff coming. We're gonna have the tags releasing hopefully next week for um, the media library as well. So again, continuing to add the new features there. And we have some other exciting stuff in the works um, regarding the Team Spaces feature, which we're hoping to demo for you all soon. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy everyone. Hope you appreciate the new features. Again, love to hear your feedback on those. Um, yeah, and I'll pass it over to Elena for an update on the Migration API. Hi, my name is Elena, and I want to show you the Migration API example scripts that we've just made available on the Prismic IO community GitHub. With these scripts, you'll be able to walk through an example where we convert an, an HTML uh, website with two language versions into a Prismic, um, Prismic repository with all the content and all the documents attached. So what this is going to do for you, and I've already run it, is it's going to create your documents. It's going to establish the links between um, between your, your two language versions so that they're um, treated as translations of one another. And it's going to also um, either fetch from a URL and download and then upload or upload from a folder all of your assets and insert the IDs. Um, and also resolve any of the, the links that are linking documents together. So what does that look like? That looks a bit like this. So here's the, the document that I've created with two links um, that are already resolved. And we've already got the French version as well. I hope that you enjoyed everything that we showed you in this video, from new improvement on the page builder and the migration API, but also giving you some insights uh, and deeper understanding of what we are thinking when it comes to integrating AI Assistant in the product. If you want to know more, please join our meetup, but also click on that link to access our latest update on the matter. Uh, we will do again an update uh, in May, and until then, uh, I hope that you'll enjoy your time with Prismic. See you.